Hey guys, I cannot believe what you've managed to achieve. My YouTube, even though we started it just a year and a half ago about, has now surpassed my Instagram, which has been around for like six years. We surpassed three million, huge thank you for that. But with this new fame has now come a new problem. And that's a problem of people pretending to be me. They're literally stealing my pictures offline, uploading them, talking to people, scamming them out of money, calling and threatening my hospital. It's nuts and I wanna tell you guys all about it. Just to clarify, right at the outset, I have one Instagram, one Facebook, one Twitter, and one YouTube account, and all four of these accounts are verified. So when in doubt, look for that check mark. No joke, when I log on to my account every week, there's like 30 or 40 new fake accounts that I find that I have to actively delete. And from the DMs you sent me of the screenshots of these accounts, a lot of them are really creepy and scary, but some of them are also so absurd that they kind of make me giggle. You want to take a look at them together? Okay, we got Mick Varshavsky. At least I spelled my last name right. But Mick, come on, you, Mike underscore 6604. What's the justification for that? Current location, Somalia, medical doctor, Doctors Without Borders, Train to Save Life. Not even Train to Save Lives. I can only save one life. But you see what I'm saying? Like this person claiming that they're in Somalia. This has happened before and people literally tell me that they were considering sending them money because they acted like I was kidnapped by pirates. I'm not joking, this happened. Mikhail. I feel like this is how I would spell Mikhail if I had no idea how to spell it. Welcome to my personal account and have some fun ahead. My official private messaging account with a little Google link. Please don't click that, folks. This person's probably a creep. Definitely a creep. Next, we have Scott Richard 012. Because don't I look like a Scott Richard to you? Scott Dick. <laughs> Dr. Mike 7 because I've already been blocked six times. A loving heart is the truest wisdom. Mm, this person's a poet. My official, at least they gave me a shout out. Look at that, my official page, doctor spelled out that mic. James Tyson 01. Do I look, can I pass as a James Tyson? I think I would make a cool James Tyson. James Tyson, how you doing? Oh, come on, this guy's so cheesy. Board certified FM doctor, and it says saving lives is my hobby. My man doesn't even save lives as his job. He's like, it's my hobby. Foot and ankle surgeon, very specific. NBC contestant. The Titan game. What? They've created a whole other life for me. I'm gonna be an NBC contestant? You can't even back that up. This person has some serious cojones. Dr. underscore Mikhail underscore Mike underscore Varshavsky. How does Instagram allow name this long? Main looking at you, I can tell exactly what is wrong with your system. <laughs> Mike Gilbert Varsh. And the full name is Mike Gilbert Varshavsky. My middle name is not Gilbert. If it was, I would be a pretty weird Russian guy with the middle name Gilbert. First of all, there's a picture or video of a baby in a blanket. If you reject me, somebody better than you will accept me. <laughs> and there's a picture of an apple pie or a chicken pot pie. This is a weird account. I hope nobody fell for this, although they have 14 followers. I'm a gentle, loving, caring guy, divorced, <laughs> looking for a serious relationship and love my job so much. Not divorced. I am gentle, loving, and caring, but not divorced. I'm not divorced. Full name is Mike Varshavsky Riggs. Who comes up with this? Like, why don't they just put Mike Varshavsky? Why do they put Riggs? Where does Riggs even, how does that enter your mind? I'm gonna get a bunch of pictures from Dr. Mike, upload them, change his name from Dr. Mike to Dr. Mike Varshavsky Riggs, and then I'll get a bunch of nudes www.mikecure.com. I wonder what that cure is. Best doctor alive. I'm an urology surgeon working in an Indian hospital. If you want to buy or sell your kidney, then contact us now. We buy kidney $200,000. First of all, who's us? It's just my picture here. The sickest part of all this, it has 37 followers. 
Are people trying to sell kidneys here? Gotta make me holla, honey boo boo. No, look, in all seriousness, it's a problem. Um, not only are people getting scammed out of money, I consistently get emails saying that they sent an iTunes gift card or an Amazon gift card as I requested, or they did donated to some unknown charity. I beg you, please don't send anyone money. Don't meet up with anybody. Don't send any nude pictures of yourself to anybody unless you have some sort of video evidence that it's the person you're talking to. The only thing that I can do is consistently every week try and take down these profiles. So what can you do? A, be on the lookout if you see a fake account that adds you, instantly report them or send them to me. Be on the lookout for those blue verification marks on any social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, they take those verification processes very seriously. And then if you're unsure, ask to do a video chat with that person. If they give you a shady answer or they're being weird about it, they're not the real person. Don't let anyone scam money out of you. Don't let anyone trick you and catfish you like I've been in the past. Be on the lookout for that blue check mark. If you wanna hear the story of how my social media blew up, click here for my residency and social media journey. Stay happy and healthy.